Hi, I'm Paul Nealon. These days we hear a lot about America First, but I'd like to take a few minutes and explain what that means to me. That means elected American officials working for American citizens, not for foreigners, not for illegal aliens. Quite honestly, I strongly believe we shouldn't have any dual citizens in any elected office in America. But we'll get to that in due time. We're working on a proposal that addresses that mostly treasonous situation. Due to anti-America policies, our nation is being changed before our very eyes. Our rights are under constant revision. Our neighborhoods are being constantly redefined. And when I look back, I can honestly say, we were never asked. We have the right to forge our own future, together, as Americans. We will not continue to sacrifice our jobs and livelihoods to globalist corporations and their bottom line. We will not continue to sacrifice our neighborhoods for diversity quotas and two-faced charity, which on the one hand gives the Democratic Party a voting farm and on the other allows criminals to roam our streets. We will not continue to be the world's policemen, using our men and women to control poppy fields in Afghanistan. Our men and women in the military ought to be on our southern border protecting workers building that wall. Taking such stances obviously upsets many powerful people, whether it's the internationalist corporations which are in competition with each other to skirt the most labor, environmental, and tax laws, or whether it's the internationalist colonialists which seek to rectify global suffering by bringing the world's poor to our neighborhoods on our dime. Once I started advocating for national reciprocity based on the Second Amendment, a well-defended, continuous border from the Gulf of Mexico to the Pacific Ocean, and policies like the shall not censor legislation, it didn't take long for these globalists to start smearing me and slandering me. But what did surprise me, however, is that they still think calling everyone to the right of Elizabeth Warren a Nazi will sway Americans. I think what upset them the most is that unlike most politicians, I'm not in this for the fame. I'm in this for my community. As I countered their many slanderous attacks, their frustration grew ever more intense, finally culminating with the ADL pushing Twitter to remove me from their platform. But I have news for them. It still won't stop me. In fact, I brought Dr. Kevin McDonald onto my campaign as a spokesman. For those of you who don't know of Dr. McDonald, here's a short clip of him being interviewed about one of his many excellent books, Culture of Critique. Well, I want to quote you. Uh, this is from The Culture of Critique. You say, quote, Jewish intellectuals have developed intellectual movements that have subjected the institutions of Gentile society, that's non-Jews, of course, to, quote, radical forms of criticism. Now, what do you mean by that? Well, I, I think that um, one of the common denominators, of, of the, at least of the movements that I discuss in the culture critique, has been a, a sort of view that the surrounding culture, that, that, that the non-Jewish society uh, was in need of radical change, that it was fundamentally evil, as it were. And I, I think, I think it, it derives from the, the fact that, that Jews feel that they've been victimized over the centuries. And I believe strongly in my community, in my state, and in my nation. So you better believe I won't back down from these slanderous attacks. When I recently compiled a list of my attackers who span both sides of the political aisle and some who even ran, quote, free speech organizations, the globalist concern reached a fevered pitch that I had compiled a list 92% filled with people who were at least part partially ethnically Jewish versus 8% who were not. Now. I generally don't care much about someone's ethnicity. What I do care about, however, is those globalists who attack the America First platform and any candidate brave enough to enact it. I will not back down to these slanderous attacks. I will never stop fighting for my people. I fully expect to see all sorts of colorful and creative ways to slander me with ad homonyms over the next few months. But all that tells you is I'm over the target. I've said it before and I'll say it again. It's okay to be white. It's great in fact. That being said, it's my view that we ought to make extra effort to find a way to help thwart the ethnic genocide in the white farmers in South Africa are facing. Also, I'd like to point out that it was Bashar Assad 
who was protecting the Christians in Syria, not the Israeli Jews. No, the Orthodox Jews in Israel, they spit on the Christians and unfairly taxed the Christian churches to the point the Church of the Holy Sepulchre closed in protest. Lastly, I'd much prefer to see the U.S. pursue a course of action to bring in closer, not in conflict with Russia. Not like that hypocrite warmonger, Crooked Hillary, I'd offer a true reset with Russian relations. So the decision we all have to make is, America first or globalism first? God bless you and God bless America.